Hey, what's up everyone? It's Stargirl the Practical Witch and welcome back to another one of my pick a card readings. I know I've been gone for a while and that's just because I needed a break. I was just worn out energetically because I was making this huge move across the country. So I just needed to take a little bit of a break, but I am back with another pick a card for you guys. Today we are gonna figure out what are your best and worst traits. And these traits are going to be things in yourself that you don't necessarily see, but other people see pretty easily. So it's almost gonna be like a blind spot on yourself. I'm not making this pick a card to roast you, even though I am going to be very specific and brutally honest. I'm making this pick a card to help you be more self-aware because I think it's a great thing to be self-aware of you know the good things about yourself as well as things that you could work on. So before we get started, I do need you to pick one of the six groups. This is group one two three four five six once you picked a group you can fast forward to the timestamp I provide down below to see what your results are if you need to pause the video to meditate on the cards feel free to do so but I also ask that you pick with your intuition and gut and not your eyes because I find that warrants the best results and I also want to tell you guys there are two more groups than there normally are and that is because I really wanted to get very specific in this pick a card reading and I wanted to channel every message I possibly could for each different person watching this video. So really try to take the time to pick a card intuitively because this message isn't going to be general. It is going to be very, very specific to you. But in order for you to get the correct message, you have to pick the card that your gut feels really drawn to, not just the pile that you feel lukewarm about or you pick because it looks a certain way. So really try to take the time to meditate on the card so you can get the best possible message and I do want to tell you guys if it does not resonate it just might mean this pick a card reading was not for you it's okay it happens but with that I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this pick a card reading all right to group number one let's see you know what your best and worst traits are Okay, so right away we have the lovers and we also have the two of swords. This is really funny because they are both contradicting, contradicting, wow, contradicting energies. Pretty much what this means, guys, is I'm seeing that you're people who have your heart very closed off. You're not pe you're not people who get close to others very easily. You, I don't know if it's because you're mistrusting of others or you, you're just naturally introverted or to yourself, but what I'm seeing is you don't let others close to your heart very easily. As you can see, she has her arms, you know, covering her heart, her chest with swords ready, you know, defending herself. And it's paired with the lovers, which tells me that you have a really hard time getting close to other people in friendship relationships or romantic relationships. Now, another energy that I'm picking up too is I almost feel like a lot of people have some very untrue misconceptions about you. And I'm gonna go ahead and clear this up real quick. So we have the Page of Pentacles representing who you are. Now the Page of Pentacles is someone who's very studious, very smart, has a lot of potential to do a lot of great things. However, the thing about the Page of Pentacles is that a lot of the times they get looked over because they look so young or because they look so good or they look a certain way. So a lot of people almost, you know, underestimate them and underestimate their intelligence. And I'm almost seeing that about you. I see that you guys have a lot of natural intelligence. However, the people around you don't seem to see it in you. And that is because of, like I said, the way you look, maybe you're really young and you know they look down on you because you're younger. Maybe it's because of the way you dress or because you, know, you might be known for being attractive and people think attractive people can be smart because the page of pentacles is known to be very like physically alluring. So I just, I really feel that energy. There's something like that blocking others from seeing the real you it's almost like they judge you on your appearance or they judge you because you keep them at arm's length you know what I'm also seeing about you guys is one of your best traits is you are people who do not judge others based on the way that they look. Other people might judge you because you're young, because you live here, because you're rich, because you're poor, because you're ugly, because you're hot. Um, 
<laughs> but I'm getting the feeling you guys are hot and I'll tell you why in a little bit. I, I think you guys are sexually very appealing to other people and I'll tell you why shortly. But the thing about you guys is you are really caring individuals and I'm not just saying that like, oh, you're so caring. Like you do things behind people's backs that is kind without them even knowing just because you're that kind of person. You're someone who will talk kindly and compliment someone behind their back. So even though you're not demonstrative of your emotions and even though you're not demonstrative of your affection for others, you are loyal and behind their back you will help them out and you will give them compliments and I see that about you. and you don't have to flaunt that you know what i mean and it's a real shame that other people judge you because i'm i'm seeing based on superficial things or because you're a real mystery to them as i see with the six of swords you don't let people get close to you you're very very distant even though you care for others you show others you care through practical means you show others you care by even being there now, I'm also seeing that a lot of you with the Scorpio and the 10th house, the 10th house rules in astrology, for, the, for those of you guys who don't know, it rules your public image, it rules fame, it rules your legacy. And with Scorpio here, I'm almost seeing that people perceive you because the 10th house is how the public perceives you. They perceive you as very Scorpio-like. So this can mean they perceive you as somebody who's very secretive, someone who's very mysterious, someone who's a little dark, someone who's a little taboo, and I feel like a lot of people make up unfair assumptions about you because you are such a mystery to them and you perplex them with complexity, which means irritates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts. I feel like you guys are a walking contradiction and that's kind of what I was saying in the beginning of the video as well with the lovers and the two of swords. You guys are not just one person. You have so many facets to you. I'll be right back. I'm going to get the oracle card so I I can explain this further okay so what I mean by this guys is when I drew cards to really see who you were as a person we have destroyer which is a volcano erupting causing destruction we also have the monk and the nun which is like a religious figure for those of you guys who don't know and then we have prostitute right here Okay, I love this card. It's so freaking funny to me. Why? Anyway, so what I'm seeing, guys, is when I drew for you, I got three very opposite cards. I got monk, nun, prostitute, and destroyer. I feel like you're somebody who is not, who doesn't fit into any stereotype who doesn't fit into any mold, any trend. You do what you want because you like it and that really mystifies people and it really puzzles people. I feel like you just refuse to, you know like how there's the hipsters or the, the e-kids or the visco girls, you know what I mean? Like you, you don't do any of that, you're so unique. You do this when you feel like it, you do the other thing when you feel like it, you're just a walking contradiction. And I feel like that's what makes you really, really cool actually. I think that's what makes you so unique. Now I am going to tell you guys that in your life group number one, if you haven't already, if you're really young, you guys are going to go through massive career changes. And what I mean by this is I really feel like you are people who, like I'm going to give you an example. When you're younger, you might be someone who was an exotic dancer or whatever with prostitute, I don't know, or you might have done something that was, you know, crazy and then a few years later you could end up you know do, being a yoga teacher or something i feel like you guys are going to go through some major extreme changes in your life like that i really feel that for you okay so another thing that i'm seeing as well guys i want to tell you this is just a channel message i picked up for uh some of you i really feel like the person you are going to marry is you're going to be in business with or you you're gonna um they're going to be wealthy or someone who helps your career um that's just something i picked up right off the bat okay so let's look at these other oracle cards okay guys so as you guys know it is libra season well currently if you guys are watching this recently and libra season what it brings is karma and karmic justice. So any good that you do is rewarded in Libra season. Any bad that you do is rewarded in Libra season. And also it mirrors our bad sides 
of ourselves and other people. So guys, what I'm seeing is we have marriage and daughter. Okay, so I really feel like a lot of you guys, your karma manifests in your romantic relationships. So if you notice that your romantic relationships are suffering, if you notice you seem to attract the wrong people, if you notice you attract the right people, this is because your karma, your energy gets hit in your close personal romantic relationships or your intimate friendships. So if that seems unstable, that means you're not on the right path. And I really am hearing that message from spirit guides, from spirit guides. Um, your karma manifests and mirrors to you in relationships. So if there's like, if your husband or boyfriend is getting on your nerves or girlfriend, it's likely because they are mirroring something in yourself and it's manifesting in their behavior. And that's one really good way to see how you truly are as well. We also have emotional healing and she's holding the heart chakra. So I really do feel like you guys um, have a large heart. However, it is very, very, very blocked off and you just seem to keep people's arms length. It's just your personality maybe. I'm not seeing because if it, it's really because of anything. It's just how you are. You don't really believe in saying the words, I love you, I love you. You show it with your actions. And I just think that people, you know, misconstrue your secrecy, your, I don't give a F, I'm gonna be what I want. I'm not gonna conform as you know they make their own assumptions in their head and that's what i'm seeing and i also see a helpful person let yourself receive and play time so i really feel like once again guys you are really giving people of your time and energy when you really i feel like you do radiate from your heart chakra like majorly but sometimes you have a hard time receiving you have a hard time um you have a hard time accepting help from other people because it makes you feel guilty or ashamed or it makes you feel like you don't deserve it or something. That's BS because I'm seeing guys helpful person, let yourself receive with lovers and the, all these pinnacle cards. I really feel like a lot of you guys who picked group number one, a lot of you are going to um, reach your wealth or reach success through partnerships with other people. That's a very big message I want to tell you. And also I want to tell you with the 10th house, this looks, looks very, very good because it, rec it represents being a boss, being a boss. And I see so many pinnacles, so much abundance in there for you. I just want to let you guys know that. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you later. Bye. All right, group number two, let's see what your best and worst traits are and how other people around you see you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have the five of wands right away, group number two. I can tell that you are people who are very confrontational. You're really not scared to back out of a conflict. And what I mean by this is when it's paired with the justice card, I see that you have very strong ideas, you have very strong beliefs. I'm sensing, I'm picking up that a lot of you guys might be vegan and very vocal about be being vegan, or a lot of you guys could be you know, a protester or someone who's very aware of social justice issues, someone who stands up for LGBT or anything like that. I'm sensing that you, group number two, you are people who really have a strong belief system and you're not scared to tell other people about it or to back it up. I'm sensing that you are not people who are easily convinced either. You are not a susceptible person. You're not someone who's easily swayed by what someone else says or what someone else believes. You stand very strong in your morals. You stand very strong in what you believe and you're not going to pretend you don't believe in it just to please other people. If someone says something Something that you feel like is not just or right you will stand up and speak your mind and I'm also sensing group number two that one of your best traits as well is you are people who really like to stand up for injustice or the underdog so if you see something that's not right you're gonna be the person who says something you know what I mean and I'm also sensing that as well with the chariot card you guys have very boss energy you i'm sensing group number two a lot of people are very intimidated by you a lot of people i heard scary a lot of people are scared by you and i mean this in a very good way for instance you're someone when i see the chariot card who demands respect when you walk into a room i'm hearing life path or somewhere in your numerology chart you might have 
four, eight, or something of that nature, that's what I'm hearing. You're someone that people are naturally very intimidated by because you have a strong presence. And I don't know if you know this about yourself, but your presence feels strong. Your presence feels like you can't mess with me, you'll lose. You're like, when I'm feeling your energy, it's just like a boss. I'm feeling boss energy. And a lot of people are intimidated by you. Now, some of the not so great traits that I'm picking up, group number two, is that I feel like sometimes you are so set in your belief systems that you have a hard time really listening to other opinions or you have a hard time picking up new beliefs that could expand your mind because I also have temperance card and the eight of swords which tells me, as you guys can see, she is blindfolded and she's tied around these swords and then the temperance card this one right here it represents foreign travel learning things about other cultures you know and i'm just sort of sensing that with these with this combination you guys have a hard time really listening to someone else's point of view you have a hard time listening in general to you know the fact that sometimes you could be wrong you i'm hearing you have a hard time admitting when you're wrong and you know i feel like this you have such a guard. I don't know if it's a guard or your personality, but you give off, give off such strong vibes. I know personally as a Cancer rising, if I were to meet your energy in person, I would just turn shy. I really would because your energy is so powerful and so strong. I feel as though too, you, okay, so first of all, we have Capricorn, the boss. So when I drew these cards, I was drawing to see what your life purpose is because the reason why we have certain personality tra traits or the reason why we are the way we are isn't because it's random. It's because it normally has something to do with what we need to learn, what our destiny is, and it has something to do with our mission here on Earth. And when I get the boss Capricorn, I really feel like it's because you guys are meant to manage and control. Whether it's in the workplace, you are meant to be the manager. You are meant to run the show. You're not meant to um, work under anyone else you have such a boss energy about you and it's funny because a lot of the times these people I've, I've realized they don't even realize how intimidating they are they don't even see themselves as leaders but you are definitely a leader and for a lot of you guys I'm hearing lawyer I'm hearing um, I'm hearing fighting for justice I'm hearing you know for some of you military i'm just hearing someone who is a boss who manages other people and someone who is a just leader as well someone who fights for what is right now group number two i also want to tell you that i channeled a message for you so a lot of the times when we have the temperance card this normally means that a spirit guide or an angel wants to come through and give you a message this is a very known angel card in the tarot deck for those of you who don't know and i have it paired with the eight of swords so group number two i really really feel like um you have a spirit guide who has been trying to reach out to you for a while now they've been trying to show you signs they've been trying to give you comfort i'm sensing that a lot of you have been feeling very unstable as of lately i'm sensing that a lot of you have felt like life is very up and down and there's no healing i'm sensing a lot of anxiety group number two for you where things feel out of control you feel stuck and i'm also sensing you know you just don't, you're just kind of indecisive, like your mind isn't right recently, which is normal for Libra season, but you just feel indecisive, you don't know what direction to take, you feel like life is just throwing you curveballs, but group number two, I really feel like you have a very strong spirit guide presence, and we're gonna figure out who that is. We have the death card, which could mean, I'm feeling like for some of you, it could be someone who's passed away. I'm gonna get more oracle cards to really clear this up for you. Another thing that I'm picking up about you, group number two, is that I really feel like a lot of you, when someone has wronged you, or if someone has you know broken your trust, you cut them off completely. There are no second chances. What is done is done, and I feel like there there are some people in your life that have been on the short end of the stick when you've been like that and I feel like that's one I don't know if it's negative I actually think it's kind of positive because you know what you want in your life and what you don't but what I'm sensing is like you you don't play around if you feel like you don't like someone you cut them off and that's that I'm gonna get back to the spirit guide thing real quick but first I want to say I also got Virgo so I'm getting a lot of earth sign energy so you could have earth sign, earth sign sun moon rising but this also means somebody who is a healer you know Virgo 
Virgos are healers, guys. Like every Virgo I've met have has had some sort of like healing gift. And what I'm seeing is that I feel like a lot of you with the justice and the five of wands, your healing gift is bringing justice, standing up for the underdog and also speaking up for what is right. Now, I'm also seeing that you guys can be very perfectionistic. I'm seeing that you can't just go with the flow. You're very high strung people. I'm seeing that group number two. I'm sensing that that's something that you constantly struggle with. And that's something that others pick up on you as well. But I do want to tell you that people respect you you do command respect I'm sensing that you have gone through a lot in your life and you've come out on top with the chariot it's not like you were just given a silver spoon you came out on top because you earned it and I'm sensing that you know this you know this came from having to make yourself strong because you've been through a lot of transformations in your life all right now let's look at these oracle cards to see who this spirit guide is so we have pay attention this card says notice repetit repetit I'm sorry. Notice repeating signs and your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. So your spirit guides want you to pay attention to the signs they are sending to you. They're saying it's time to contemplate, spend time alone, meditating upon what it is you truly desire. So I feel like you guys have burnt yourself up and you need some time away from the grind. We have have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. So whatever it is you've been manifesting, I know you guys have been frustrated lately and you feel like you're not going anywhere and I'm also sensing that a lot of you feel like you know you, you just don't even know what path you want to take because I also have shapeshifter I just feel like you guys really don't know who you really are you're you're not seeing yourself for how powerful and who you are on a true level and I feel like you're just really confused right now that's what I'm really seeing but you know whatever you've been manifesting or praying about they're saying that it's manifest it's manifesting and I also have your wish is granted so guys I know group number two you have been manifesting or praying for something or hoping for something I got two cards that says your wish is granted which never ever ever happens so i would take that as a sign as your manifestations are coming into fruition okay so in regards to the spirit guides i'm really sensing because they have so much pay attention to the signs you know we have artists i feel like a lot of your spirit guides are communicating with you through your favorite song i just heard the message right now for those of you who picked group number two that when you listen to a certain song on the radio and you like cry or you, I don't want to say cry. I know you guys aren't big babies. I know you guys are tough cookies, group number two. When you listen to certain songs and you feel it in your soul and you sort of, your soul does a prayer asking, when is it going to happen? What's going to happen? Your spirit guides are telling me they hear that. They send you these songs. They hear you when you uh, look at art. I'm sensing some of you art. It says artists. So I'm sensing that your spirit guides communicate with you through art, music, or something like that, artistic expression. And I'm also sensing that for a lot of you this spirit guide could be a mother or a mother figure now I also want to tell you guys I'm also sensing that you are very um you guys have a very mother-like energy. People see you as mom. People might call you mom. People might view you as their surrogate mother, and that's because you radiate so much strength. And I want to tell you that a lot of women admire you. That's one thing I want to tell you is women admire you a lot, and uh, you just have a... But it's not like a motherly vibe in the traditional sense. It's this vibe as in, like, you're the mother to all. It's very strange and very cool, and, you know, a lot of women look up to you. Guys, I just feel like when I'm looking at your spread, I feel like you're going to do a lot in regards to career advancements. And that's just due to your perfectionism and the fact that you don't stop and your strength. Um, I just get such a strong energy group number two from you guys. I'm really jealous. I hope you enjoyed this pick a card. Thank you so much for watching. It was an honor reading your cards and I will see you guys later. All right, group number three, let's see what your best and worst traits are. So the first thing I have for you is the moon. You are super sensitive people and this is a good and bad trait, bad for you because I'm sensing with the moon group number three, you're someone who has a hard time being out in public for too long or around strangers because you feel their energy, you pick up their energy and it drains you. You're somebody who knows if someone is mad at you even if they're not giving any clues. You're, you're someone who's very, very sensitive to the moods of others and the energy around you, even so much to the point if 
you hang around someone, you start to feel the way, way that they do or you start to think the way that they do. And it's not because you're feeble-minded, it's because I'm sensing that a lot of you guys are empathetic. And it's a type of psychic ability where you actually feel, think, and experience things as someone else close by to you. It's almost like you pick up their energy and I'm sensing that's one of your spiritual gifts. There's always that one pile of the person who has spiritual gifts. Everyone has spiritual gifts, but for some people it just comes more naturally, especially if you have like eighth house, 12th house placements in your birth chart or it's genetic, you know, something like that. I'm sensing that a lot of you guys likely in uh, childhood had psychic experiences or you're someone who's always been very fascinated by the occult or tarot or something of that nature. I'm also sensing that a lot of you are people who are very, very emotional as well. You have a hard time hiding your feelings, especially in the past. I'm sensing that in the past, whatever you felt is what you would show people. You really weren't good at being inauthentic or faking anything or faking your feelings. You're someone who is very honest. I'm, I'm hearing that as well, especially in love or with friends. You might have came on really strong and you know when you were younger you might have scared off you know certain relationships. Friends no longer spoke to you or people you dated, you know, got freaked out because you were so honest and open about the way you felt and you were so vulnerable and most people are not like that. Most people are very, very guarded and I'm sensing that you weren't, whatever you felt is what they got and that's how you were. You're not really good at hiding your emotions, but I'm sensing, you know, I want to give you guys some props group number three because what I want to tell you is I'm seeing that you guys have really matured, especially in the last year with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. This is telling me that you, hold on, let's, we're going to get back to that, but with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords here, this really shows me that you have really been learning how to get in control of your emotions and you have really have been learning how to you know better um you know instead of like going off in an emotional tangent where you rebel or do something crazy destructive or life is so dramatic you've been learning how to intellectually handle your emotions and i i'm seeing that evolution and i'm seeing that this is a recent thing i'm sensing group number three a lot of you who picked this group in your younger days you might have been someone who was very rebellious or went against your family maybe you were the black sheep maybe you rebelled a little bit i'm sensing that as well and i'm sensing that that, you know this might have been to do with the fact that you were a very sensitive kid and kids tend to be more sensitive their psychic receptors are completely off the charts I'm just sensing that you sort of think independently maybe you're very different from your family as well like you're very different than how your family is or how they raised you and I'm also sensing with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles this really shows me an interest with the moon in the occult and occult sciences occult sciences and I really feel like a lot of you have this natural gift maybe you're natural witches maybe you are just you've always been into spirituality tarot had psychic experiences there's always that one group in these piles and you've picked that group I'm sensing that about you I'm also sensing for some of you this is a general reading but if I see it I'm going to tell you with the nine of pentacles and the queen of wands the nine of pentacles talks about success um, getting a lot of abundance from hard work being a boss lady or man or entrepreneur and with the queen of wands this talks about someone who's very interested in the occult and i'm almost sensing group number three that a lot of you are going to end up making money through spirituality whether it's yoga tarot reading or you know a metaphysical shop or selling excuse me i always burp when i'm nervous talking on camera sorry about that guys <laughs> i'm not a talker but um i almost feel like you are going to make some money doing something in that spirituality field. I really feel that way. I, I, I just do when I look at this because that is one of your natural gifts. And you know what's funny about you, group number three? You know how some spiritual people are all like, don't say anything negative, peace. You know, you know those extreme people who are all like, nothing bad happens in my universe and they're very like, you know, detached from reality and kind of spacey. You're not like that. You're someone who's very, very, very spiritual. And you're someone who at the same time is very real and very raw as well. You know, you know, you know how to keep it real. You know how to be down to earth. You're a very down to earth person. And people really like that about you, how down to earth you are and how cool you are and at the same time 
you're so empathetic and also the fact we also have Sagittarius here so I really feel like you guys are so honest like very pure hearted you're never really trying to hide anything you're never really trying to get away with a certain agenda you know what you see is what you get with you and I think there's something very pure hearted and sweet about that I'm seeing that a lot of you guys who picked group number three this is a general message, bear with me. But with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords, I really feel like a lot of you guys have been thinking about family a lot or there's been, you know, some sort of family issue. Maybe, I don't know, there's been some issue on your family and I channeled a message for those of you who had some sort of family issue come up around the full moon. Um, I'm going to get to that shortly, but I do want to let you know I saw that. Okay, so when I drew these cards, I really wanted to figure out, you know, group number three, why are you the way you are because your personality is not an accident you actually have your personality because it generally is something that will aid you in your life purpose the reason why you're here on this earth it will aid you in your mission here on earth it's very important okay your personality and I really feel like guys like first of all we have Taurus in the bombshell so guy or girl, what I'm really feeling like for you is I really feel like, so if you're a guy, I definitely see, or it doesn't matter really which gender you are, but you know, some masculine jobs I'm seeing is like, you know, if you're a guy watching this, I see you healing people through personal training or something like that. I see that you guys are natural, naturally very spiritually in tune and I see that it has something to do with like physical appearance like for instance some of you like I was saying you could design a spiritual clothing shop you could I think it has something to do with like beauty supplies you know physical exercise something that has to do with the way that you look maybe um, being the, sh the front face of some something spiritual I don't know but that's just what I'm picking up and I'm also picking up guys that no offense, no offense, but we have Taurus and Sagittarius and they're not very good at self-control. <laughs> and I'm sensing group number three, one of the not so great traits about you is that you really just go to one extreme from the other because you react emotionally. And that's what makes you like such a free spirit, such a wild child, so cool. But it's like, I almost feel like because of this, you do everything to the extreme. And this is something that you should watch out for in the future, okay? And I see that you are because I see that you're growing a lot. We also have Mars, desire, impulses, desires and impulses. You guys have a hard, hard time controlling those impulses. I'm seeing that about you. And I'm sensing that a lot of people, you know, they see you as very wild, like you do what you want and they see you as very cool. And they're like, wow, I can't believe she does that or he does that. Um, and I feel like very few people see your spiritual side actually because the moon hides things, okay? The moon is like, it hides everything in its sight and we have it next to the King of Cups. So I actually feel like very few people know just how spiritual you are, just how in tune you are because you seem so down to earth and you don't really talk about it and you're someone who's very like, uh, a, like I hear that a lot of you guys have tattoos or something like that. I don't know, but uh, that's what's really cool about you So I have some Oracle cards for you that I'm going to draw now All right group number three. So we have healing heart. You're a powerful healer Keep up the good work. Yeah, you guys are definitely some sort of healer. I'm hearing, you know physical healer emotional he healer because we also have mystic Okay, this mystic is someone who is in direct communication with the divine. I'm seeing that for you guys. I'm seeing that you do have psychic ability. I'm not, I didn't say that with any of the other groups, okay? You're the group that definitely does if this is what your gut felt draw, drawn to because I've had four cards that explicitly said this. But pretty much what I'm seeing by this, guys, is I really feel like you're meant to do something in regards to spirituality, teaching about spirituality, learning about spirituality, traveling, or living in a way that's completely against the norm. I just see that for you, group number three. I don't, your destiny is doing completely different than your family did, and also just like kind of a nomad spiritual lifestyle. That's what I see for you, group number three, and I think that's where you're going to find your happiness. So that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a fantastic fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye. All right, to group number four, let's see what your best and what your worst traits are. So we have the hero fan. 
and we also have the ace of pentacles paired with it okay so pretty much what i'm seeing about you group number four is one of your really good traits is you are someone who has a lot of natural wisdom i don't know if it's because you're an old soul or because you've just been through a lot in your life but you have a lot of spiritual wisdom not just spiritual wisdom you are an amazing teacher and you have a lot of a wealth of knowledge that people really appreciate from you so you might be someone who always offers spiritual advice or you might be someone who teaches others about spirituality or you might be a tarot reader or you might just be that friend who people come to for good solid advice and people really listen to what you have to say you have this quality about you that's kind of serious i'm not gonna lie group number four you have a very very serious quality about you i feel like you have a hard time actually letting loose and just being silly i'm definitely feeling that for you group number four which is a shame because i'm seeing that you guys have a lot of creativity now what i'm seeing is someone who is very mature for their age group number four no matter how old you are you've always been mature for your age you've been someone who had to i'm sensing that a lot of you who picked group number four i'm not gonna lie this is a heavy pile guys because when i was doing this spread I had sage burning and the sage popped very violently. I've never had sage do that before. I'm sure it's a common occurrence, but it's never happened to me until I made this pile. So that really says a lot about how intense group number four pile is. Okay, I really feel like with the four of wands and the king of swords, I really feel like you had to grow up very young. I almost feel like for a lot of you who picked group number four, your childhood might have been unfairly taken away because of some sort of situation that forced you to grow up or act older than you were. And I'm also getting that with the Six of Cups and the Five of Swords. So the Six of Cups talks about your past. It talks about your childhood. It talks about your inner child. And the Five of Swords talks about abuse, betrayal, you know, abusive people, bad situations. I really feel like group number four, a lot of you have been, especially in your younger days and your past, have been around the wrong crowd or the wrong people. Maybe it was like family issues. Maybe it was actual childhood abuse, you know, something of that nature. I just feel like your childhood was stolen from you very, very early and you had to mature very, very early as a person. And that's not fair, but because of this, it's given you a very serious exterior. People find you to be very wise, wise beyond your years. You always have valuable information to tell others. You have a depth behind your eyes. I'm hearing that as well. Like there's something very intense about your eyes when people people look into your eyes they see an old soul you have like these eyes that are piercing and i'm getting that because of the king of swords his eyes are bulging out and you know i'm getting this with the hero fan i really feel like there's something very penetrating about your eyes like you're looking at eyes that have lived hundreds and hundreds of years. That's what I'm feeling like. And I feel like this is something that people really admire about you. And this is something that makes you someone that others willingly listen to because you really know what you're talking about. But at the same time, it's really sad for you because I feel like you have a hard time being carefree. You have a hard time celebrating. You have a hard time doing anything spontaneous or being that child and having fun because I'm almost hearing group number four, like you have to prove something. You want revenge. You want revenge. You want to prove this. You want to prove that. Maybe not so dark, but I'm just sensing like you are so single-mindedly focused on the future, you don't like looking into the past because it's so painful. And I'm sensing this is somebody, you're somebody who, first of all, with the Ace of Pentacles, this could mean abundance is coming your way, but I'm just feeling like you're someone who has a lot of wisdom. And this wisdom is probably going to be the thing that your life purpose is. Because when we look at your personality or your traits, it's by no coincidence. It's there and happening for a reason because those traits and those things that happen to you are, are meant to prepare you for your soul purpose, your life purpose, or your life partner. And I'm really sensing it, it, this is preparing you to be a teacher, to be a kind of teacher that has real life experience, not just I read it in a textbook. I have real life experience. I've, I'm teaching because 
I have experience that you can only get by living it. That's like the kind of energy I'm channeling for you guys, group number four. Like I'm sensing wisdom that doesn't come from books or a lot of school, maybe it does, but mainly from real life hard knocks lessons. And it's given you a lot of sense and it's given you a lot of wisdom. Now, this is really a shame because what I wanna tell you, group number four, is that you're really, really, really creative person and you have creative gifts. I see that with Leo. I got Leo for you. You are somebody who is naturally creative. This is something that comes naturally to you. Um, the way you express yourself, the way you decorate your binder at school or the way you decorate your home. Like people notice you have your own artistic flair, but it's interesting because I think that some of you express your childlike nature through art. I'm hearing because you have a hard time, you know, being letting loose in everyday life. We also have Aquarius. So Aquarius is opposite of Leo. So pretty much what this means, guys, is I really feel like you are meant to. So the reason why I channeled these messages is because I wanted to see what your life purpose is, why you had to go through this. I really feel like you guys are meant to invent something new that has never been done before. I'm hearing entrepreneur, entrepreneurship. I can't pronounce that word. Entrepreneurship old ship sorry guys bear with me i'm hearing you know someone who does social media with leo and aquarius which rules the internet you're meant to do something i feel like you're meant to do business honestly i feel like you're meant to do business and it has something to do with your creative self-expression whether it's inventing a product selling a product or using the internet to do so that's what i really really feel like for you I'm also seeing that you have your, like I said, your own unique way of expressing yourself as well because Aquarius and Leo are both very bold. Now group number four, I also have some Oracle cards that I drew for you and I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. All right, group number four. So I also have mentor for you and student. You're somebody who is never, you're not stubborn. You are ready to learn a lesson. Like if someone has a wise piece of advice, you'll listen to it because you're open-minded. I see that you're a very open-minded person as well. I see that you're someone who's willing to learn and willing to listen to other points of view. And you're someone who, and because of that, that's wise because you are always open to learn new things. Do you know what I mean? Like you're not someone who's like, I know everything and that's it and I know best, that's it. Like you are always open to learn new knowledge and because of that, you are wise, if that makes sense. I don't know if that did. We also have Gambler. Okay, so I really do once again feel like a lot of you guys who pitch group number four are, are going to make money through your own business or through your creative self-expression. We also have whom do you need to forgive? There's someone in your life you need to forgive. That's a channeled message for you, group number four. There's somebody in your past you need to forgive because that is really weighing your vibes down, making it hard for you to express your creativity and also express that childlike joy because I'm sensing group number four, you guys are way way too serious all right you don't know like you you just like you're like i'm scared to have fun and laugh because something's gonna happen i don't know you guys are just very serious people and we also have time to move on there's something in your life you need to move on from right now and i'm sensing too that oh look we have goodbye to the old hello to the new so we have time to move on goodbye to the old hello to the new and we also have accept heaven's help which says You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. So guys, a lot of you, I'm sensing group number four, have been praying for a solution to a problem or whether or not you should move on. A lot of you guys have been, I'm sensing that a lot of you guys have been praying, whether it's in your head, whether you, you believe in God or not, you've been manifesting, you've been asking for a sign or help. And I'm really feeling like group number four spirit has is telling me to tell you they have heard your prayers they are trying to help you but i'm sensing that a lot of you might be holding on to something that you don't want to let go of because you're scared of letting go of that thing does that make sense and it's blocking heaven from coming to help you with whatever it is you guys have been praying for group number four i also have music for manifesting so i feel like a lot of you guys you know i also heard that one of your best traits for a lot of you who pitch group number four is that you have a beautiful singing voice you're really talented at an instrument and other people think like you're very musically gifted or i'm also sensing that a lot of people feel like one of your good traits is that 
you have really good taste in music and the people around you appreciate it. It's something to do with your musical expression, the way you sing, the way you play an instrument, what you listen to. This is something very distinctive about you that other people really like. And I'm also sensing too, we have winter. So I really feel like a lot of you guys, what it is that you are praying for or been praying for or been waiting for or been manifesting, this is saying it's gonna happen in the winter so be patient because it is coming so that's all i have for you guys i really hoped you enjoyed this pick a card reading thank you so much for watching and i will see you later bye all right group number five let's see what your best and worst traits are so we have the two of cups you're someone who is a romantic you're somebody who's really good at seeing both sides of a situation you're someone who never really takes sides you're someone who is able to you know, get along with anyone, no matter where they're from, no matter their history, no matter what race, color, you are someone who can just get along with anyone despite their background. You're also somebody who, like I said, is a romantic. You're always willing to lend out a helping hand and you're someone who's a little dreamy too. I feel like you're someone who really does believe in one true love forever. You believe in marriage. You believe in romance movies. You like reading romance novels. You are a dreamy romantic and very idealistic as well and with the five of pentacles i'm seeing the not so nice side of this is a lot of your self-esteem or self-worth comes from how people like you or how much people like you or you know a lot of your self-esteem comes from the people you hang around or who you're in a relationship from and it's very dependent on those outside forces or those outside people and i'm seeing that about you and i also feel like with this partnership you don't see what you your worth in a friendship or in a romantic partnership or any sort of relationship you always feel like the other person is better or they're doing more it's almost like there's just a weird insecurity around relationships and feeling good enough okay so let's see what else i see for you Okay, so we have the Page of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You guys are the dreamers. I'm hearing Life Path 9s, Life Path 11, Life Path 2, maybe Life Path 7. I'm definitely feeling like you or you know anything in your numerology chart. I'm definitely feeling like you are people who are very dreamy. That's one big word I'm hearing is you're very dreamy and you're kind of off in your own little la la land. Some of you who picked group number four, others might perceive you as having ADD or being spacey. You might be someone that people are like, wow, they're so spacey, you know, or like it doesn't even have to be that extreme, but a lot of people perceive you as someone who's very idealistic very creative someone who's even a little innocent and childlike I'm sensing that you give off a very like this pure innocence of there's still wonder and love in the world you give off this very childlike purity and that's a very big word I'm hearing is purity group number four you're very pure I don't know if people have told you that you might be someone who's even a little shy you know what I mean like or on the quieter side you don't talk a lot but when you do you're very agreeable and I sense you're someone who's in their heads a lot now I'm also sensing as well you have multiple different talents and this normally happens when you're the creative dreamy type but I'm seeing you have a lot of different talents or you have a very hard time focusing in on one creative talent or one hobby or one thing you'd like to do because your brain is just like this limited limitless vast ocean of stuff and you're always in it swimming around and it's like someone has to snap you out of your la la land that's what I'm seeing group number four and this makes you know for some of the most creative wonderful poets music musicians, artists, you know, like, and not only that, this is such a rare thing to find in this world, you know, having such a pure soul, but you, you definitely have that. And I see that, but once again, we have this two theme, we have the two of cups and the two of pentacles, which is about sharing, which is about relationships. And I really feel like Group number two, with the Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, unfortunately, you have a tendency to give too much or to be a little naive when it comes to people. You have a tendency to be a little naive when it comes to relationships. You tend to 
overextend yourself, give of yourself too much, become a little bit like a martyr. Um, you have a tendency to, you know, undervalue your worth and kind of just lose yourself in partnerships, relationships, or if you're in a relationship, you tend to lose yourself completely. I'm seeing you have a difficult time setting boundaries, and I'm also sensing you have a difficult time understanding why people can be so manipulative and you know complicated because you yourself are very pure and i'm sensing that about you so let's see what else i'm picking up okay so we have the strength card and the king of wands so it's interesting to me because what I was telling the other groups is it's never a coincidence that we were born with a certain personality or a certain look. These things are actually there to aid us in our soul's purpose, soul's mission, our purpose here on earth pretty much. It's by no incident you went through the things you did or you developed the personality that you did. And I'm seeing guys that for those of you who picked group number four, even though I'm seeing someone who maybe might not seem like a confident leader on the outside, I'm seeing that this is your destiny. I'm seeing that this is your learning, group number four, how to love yourself, not based on how people treat you, not based on who you're dating, not based on who you're friends with, not based on other people's opinions about yourself. You're, you're sent here, group number four, to learn the value of yourself, you know, and get confidence in yourself without that outside influence. And I'm also sensing that when you mature, you're going to develop into a more king of wands type energy, which is a lot more expressive about their creativity. Now, right now, I'm sort of feeling group number four, that one thing about you is even though you're very creative, you're not very expressive about it, or it's not very focused, and it's kind of all over the place. But I'm sensing that when you grow into your energy, like maybe during a Saturn return in astrology, I'm sensing that you're gonna learn these lessons, and believe it or not, I know you guys don't believe me, group number four, you're going to turn into this very ex creatively expressive person and you're going to be a lot more outgoing than you are now. I really, really see that. And in five years when that happens, I want you to remember this video. I'm also seeing guys that you are a very nurturing person, group number four. You have a natural urge to nurture people. And it's, it's not, it's almost like, <sighs> It's because you want to take care of people that you find to be weak or need your help. You have a soft spot for that. And I see that with the Two of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. And this is a very admirable quality. Like I said, this almost rem reminds me of like a, you know, a rainbow star seed or something. But you just have like this need to help people who are less fortunate, help people who are in need. If you see someone struggling, you have this soft spot in your heart. You want to help them. You want to give them strength. You want to build them up. And this is a very beautiful quality. However, if this ends up in the hands of a wrong person, they could really wreck you emotionally. And I'm sensing maybe if you guys are older and you've been through relationships or friendships, you have noticed this of being perpetually taken advantage of from your want to build other people up. And I'm also sensing that sometimes you, hold on, let me see what else I'm seeing here. So we have the eighth house intimacy, which is all about serious relationships. It's about marriage, okay? I really feel like a lot of you are here to learn about boundaries, boundaries with other people learning when to say no, learning when you can't do that, learning when a relationship is getting too toxic and walking away and having the confidence to do that. <clears throat> I really feel like that's one of your big lessons in life. We also have Jupiter in expansion. So this is a really good sign, guys, for those of you who picked group number four. I really feel like a lot of you are, you know, meant to be teachers or meant to travel as a job or a life purpose because like I said, your personality and your best and worst traits relates to your life purpose and why you're here. And with Jupiter, I really feel like you are meant 
to, you know, especially with the King of Wands and strength, I really feel like you're meant to be some sort of teacher. I feel like you're meant to maybe travel for work, travel overseas, you know, and even like I'm hearing like language teacher or someone who, you know, translates things for people across the seas or works overseas as a translator or someone who brings different kinds of people from different backgrounds together. I'm hearing you'd also be someone who's an excellent therapist or counselor, anyone who's sort of a mediator. I see that you're an excellent mediator and this is something to do with your life purpose. And this is why you constantly have the urge to help people who are less fortunate. So I also drew some oracle cards to get a clarifier on this situation. We have affirmations and ask for what you want. Ask for what you want from the universe. I'm hearing the message that you really need to manifest because as soon as you start doing all that stuff, it's gonna manifest for you because I also have sextile and opportunity. So the universe wants to give you abundance, love, whatever it is you want. It's ready, it's waiting for you to be an energetic match. And all you have to do for that is use the law of attraction, do your manifestations, and you will very quickly get what it is you desire. I also see dream big, dream big, let go of small thoughts about yourself. See yourself succeeding. That's another thing I'm sensing. You guys have a lot of confidence issues, but recently you have been learning to build up your confidence. We have a new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. Good change is coming up for you. Good, big change. Not the change we dread that makes our life miserable and it's awful. Like I see really really good changes coming for you group number five very very soon we also have perfect timing and synchronicity so a lot of you guys have been seeing numbers on the clock 111 Two 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 three 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 eleven eleven. Maybe you've been seeing the same animal everywhere you go. You've been hearing the same song everywhere you go. You are definitely being spoken to by the universe with numbers or synchronicity, and that's something you should pay attention to as well. We also have child in nature. So group number five. One thing that I want to say about you is one of your best traits that other people see in you. That's really really obvious. Is you're really good with animals. You're really good with plants. You're really good like because you have such a kind soul animals are really attracted to you and that's something that's really attractive about you is you naturally bond with animals or even children because you yourself hold that like animal like innocence you know what i mean like the innocence of an animal if that makes sense and i just heard puppy dog eyes are like you're like a puppy dog you're like a cute little puppy dog you just want to squeeze do you know what i mean like you have this very pure innocence about you that is very very sweet and alluring and that's one of the first things people notice about you and then they're like wow you're kind of spacey you're a little bit spacey you know what i mean so another thing i have is female fatale which means highlights the erotic energy of the feminine opens your heart when your dependency is rejected okay so i'm sensing that a lot of you maybe to get your confidence you you know, rush into relationships or sleep with people you probably shouldn't, or maybe there's some sort of self-destructive issue in relationships, or maybe you use sex to get confidence, or maybe, like I said, you've been a victim to a lot of player types. And this, once again, is because you are meant to learn boundaries in this life group number four. And that's why you're experiencing that. We also have mediator, gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life respects for both sides of an argument. I definitely feel like group number five when I was doing your spread, I feel like you are going to earn your wealth or your life purpose involves, like I said, counseling people, teaching people, being a mediator, um, being someone who brings people together, or you know, just like somebody who works with other people one-on-one. -on -one. I really feel like this is something to do with your life purpose and that's because you give off such a trusting vibe and you need that vibe in order for people to trust you and open up to you. So that's all I have for you, group number five. That was a long one. I hoped you enjoyed it and I will see you later. Bye. All right, last but not least, group number six. Let's see what your best traits are, what your not so great traits are. Let's get right on into it. So we have the queen of pentacles, group number six. So the first thing that people would really say about you from 
from your past and currently is you're a really good hostess. You're someone, you always feed someone when they come to your house. You always have your house smelling nice with scented candles maybe. You could be someone who is just like, very nurturing to your guest, very welcoming to your guest. You might be someone who throws amazing dinner parties or if you have a birthday party, it's like so well thought out and done and you're an amazing hostess. I'm seeing that about you. I'm also seeing like you're someone who has the full package with the queen of pentacles. Group number six, what I'm seeing for you guys is I really feel like you are, okay, let me get into the rest of the cards so I can really point this out. We have the Empress, okay? So the Empress is the most gorgeous card in the Zodiac. She is beauty, she's grace, you know, that Miss America song. She has looks, she has poise, she has a way of dressing herself. It's not just her looks, like she has like this air of elegance and beauty. Um, and I really feel like with the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress, and this works for if you're a guy too, I feel like you're very physically attractive. And I know that's not something, you know, that's a value that you want to hear, you know, and there's other things about you, but I feel like one of the first things people notice about you is that you're very physically attractive, you're very conventionally attractive, or if you're like, no, star girl, I'm potato, I'm sure you're not, but if not that, I really feel like, you know how some people are just really attractive and sexy and it's not because they look like a supermodel, it's just the way they move, the way they talk, the way they dress, it's just really alluring and beautiful or handsome and it's just magnetic. It's like they're beautiful because of these slight things. Group number C, uh, C, group number six, I'm seeing that you have that quality about you. I'm also seeing, however, let's get into some of the things that aren't so good. I see with the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, this feels like to me that you don't see a lot of your gifts because the Six of Pentacles talks about your talents, it talks about your gifts, it talks about what you contribute. I almost feel like with the Eight of Cups, with his back turned away from it, you really are just very oblivious of all of the things that you've been blessed with or all of the gifts that you have in life. And I feel like there's like the, a tendency towards pessimism. And a lot of people, group number six, might tell you, why are you depressed? If I was as beautiful as you, I wouldn't be depressed. Or why are you depressed if I was as successful as you? Because I'm sensing that a lot of you who picked group number six, you seem like you have everything together. You seem perfect and but there's like the sadness inside of you that's what I'm feeling and I feel like when you tell people of that they're shocked because they're like how could you have problems do you know what I mean and I feel like you're sick of the superficiality with the eight of cups turning its back from the pentacles I feel like you're sick of superficiality and I feel like you're looking for substance and depth in your life right now and I'm also sensing as well that a lot of you guys you have a tendency to I'm seeing that a lot of you have a tendency to turn your back away from help because the Six of Pentacles is also about receiving charity and the Eight of Cups, he has his back turned to it. So I really feel like a lot of you don't see when others are helping, you don't see the gifts and the blessings the universe is giving you and you don't see how many people in your life care about you that you've sort of just are, are blind to. That's what I'm really seeing and I feel like everyone else sees how much you have but you're the only one who doesn't. And I think that's really, really sad because when I look at this deck, I see someone who has beauty, grace, brains, everything, like you are the full package. And for some of you, you might also be very successful as well, or someone who does really well at school or at work. I'm sensing with the Four of Cups and the Fool, once again, it's the same theme of being very depressed, being like everything is empty, everything is shallow, wanting, feeling like you just wanna turn your back on the world and start over. I just sort of feel like you, the, one of your main things is you suffer from a lot of apathy or you suffer from a lot of not seeing all the good that's around you. And that's a real shame because I'm telling you, group number six, I didn't blow smoke up anyone's butt like I am yours because I'm seeing it. I see that you really do have life on a silver platter right now and I think this 
is something that could be easily fixed with exercise or going to talk to a therapist or something because you have everything going for you. Now, I also have ascendant. So once again, there's something about the way you look, whether it's your way of dressing, the way you move, there's something, because the ascendant is your physical body and your personality. There's something very alluring about you and also very mysterious as well because we have Pisces, the mystic, imaginative, compassionate, healing, empathetic, mystical, adoring, magical, dreamy. So a lot of you are just very dreamy people, but the flip side of that, it's escapism, impractical, self-pitying, illogical. So Pisces, the thing about Pisces is they are healers, they're empathetic, they are in tune, they're caring, they're nurturing, but at the same time, they struggle with self-pity and I feel like that's what a lot of you guys are going through right now. Now, group number six, I do wanna tell you something I'm picking up about you. We have conjunction and empowerment. I feel like a lot of the time, wherever you go, especially with this gossip card, people talk unfairly about you. And I think it's just because of how quiet you can be, how reserved, or maybe you're, you know, you're not having a good day, so you have like the sad face on. I feel like a lot of people gossip about you because one, jealousy is what I'm seeing. I feel like you elicit very strong emotional responses from other people because they're jealous or they feel like, oh, she's always feeling sorry for herself. Why is she feeling sorry? Or why is, she, why is he feeling sorry for himself? They have it all. I just feel like you're the subject to a lot of gossip and a lot of hate from those around you because they are jealous. And I'm seeing that about you. And I'm sensing too as well, this is not something you should be worried about. They don't know you. This is just like a select few people. You might have noticed it at school or at work. You know, you get a weird vibe from your coworker or your classmates, or you hear someone's talking bad about you. Yeah, this person is talking bad about you because they're jealous and also, you seem to be stuck up even when you're not. I'm getting the feeling that people perceive you as stuck up because they can't fathom how you could be so sad. And I'm sensing that you guys are sad frequently or low energy and you know, they, they read it as you being a B-I-T-C-H when in reality you're going through your own thing. We have you're being helped. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see results yet. So you guys definitely have a spirit guide around you and you're definitely in touch. I'm sensing they come to you in your dreams. I'm sensing that big time. They like to come in forms and symbols in your dreams. You might have been having weird dreams lately. I'm also seeing positive energy. Surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. Once again, avoid those people gossiping about you who aren't your true friend, who's nice to your face, mean to your back. Or on the flip side, this can mean that maybe you have an issue with gossiping behind people's backs and spirit wants me to warn you of that not to do that because it's gonna bite you in the butt. But there's something to do with, you know, people not being authentic and also just like i'm sensing a fakeness here going on in your life and to avoid that we also have once again friendship make a date for play make a date for a play day with one or more friends so we have a bunch of friendship cards so i really feel like spirit wants to bring your attention to those people who might be draining your energy or don't have your best intention at heart okay we also have summer. Everything that you're asking for becomes yours in the summertime. So whatever it is you've been manifesting will likely manifest in summer. We have patience, please, because it's going to manifest in the summer. I know some of you guys are really impatient. That's one of the negative traits I see about you guys is you have a tendency to just walk away before finishing a task because you're just impatient. <laughs> So that's all I have for you, group number six. Sorry, I got a little tired there at the end. This was a long, long reading, but I really hope this helped you out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.